Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 71 of What's That Pepper series. Today, I have a very special box to show you. Man, look at this. <laughs> this is the entire box of peppers uh, sent to me from Jay. Uh, if you want to reach Jay, uh, I will list all of the information below. You can go and talk to him. Uh, Jay does uh, sell pepper seeds and I think he also does the flat rate boxes. Um, he has some amazing varieties and they're all fresh, picked, and uh, shipped as soon as the, he picked them. So when you order, that's when he, he gets them out to you. So when you get them, you get the freshest peppers to use just like these. So he sent me a lot of these uh, varieties are crosses of my own that I gave, uh, gave Jay seeds uh, the previous season. Like the lemon starburst here. Uh, I think th uh, these are scarlet rose. Um, there's a bunch of varieties. I'll take you closer and let you see what these are. Uh, Jay also has a uh, a YouTube channel, and he occasionally he does like garden updates, and he will show you some of uh, of the stuff he's growing. <laughs> we call him Jungle Jay, and if you watch his video, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Um, he also is a member of uh, Pepper Lovers Community, so go there. He's very popular. Everyone knows Jay. Uh, the nicest guys you will ever meet. I actually met Jay in person before. Uh, he came to uh, Texas one day and we met up for lunch. So uh, it, it was a very, very good uh, good time. So I, I enjoyed uh, meeting Jay. Uh, he's a good friend of mine too. So <laughs> I highly recommend it. There's only a few people I would buy fresh pods from and Jay is one of them. I uh, also forgot to mention he does hot sauce, chili oil, and uh, a bunch of other things. So uh, you can talk to him and ask him about the stuff that he's doing. Uh, anyway, let me take you closer and I will show you the box of goodness here. And then uh, we'll take one of the pods in here that I've been dying to try. The Super Pekin, right here, like this. <laughs> this is across my own. So um, we'll try that out and uh, I'll let you know how that tastes. So let's take a look at these. All right guys, here is the big box of peppers here with all kinds of awesome stuff in here uh, it may take a while to show you everything so um, for those that like to look at peppers <laughs> you may enjoy this video and for those that don't like to look at peppers and go straight to uh, the review I will uh, post timeline that way you can just go directly there and not have to watch all this stuff because it may take a while um, it is a very big box so I'm gonna pour these out and then, I, and then I'll show you uh, a few at a time. I might not show you all of this because there are just too many of them. Look at that. Man, that's, that, that is just a giant box of just amazing varieties of peppers. So um, you guys, most of the people have watched my videos know about the Lemon Starburst. It is a very beautiful variety in my opinion. I mean... It's absolutely gorgeous to me. It tastes great. It looks amazing. Um, I love the shape, the color. Uh, it looks just like a lemon. And every now and then you get this crazy stinger here. A, a lot of them will have them. But a majority of them look uh, kind of like this, like a bonnet shape. So uh, usually these are like my favorite shapes here. Like that. They're very beautiful. And J grows like an amazing plant i mean it, it produced so much and but mine is not doing that well so uh i, I i've been asking jay uh, for advice on how to get my pepper to produce more <laughs> so see here these are lemon starburst here and i have the pumpkin this is my pumpkin staracha pumpkin very cool. Uh, occasionally, uh, like during Halloween, I would carve this into a jack-o'-lantern. So uh, if you go to my G Plus and search around, it, it, you'll see them. It looks really cool. Uh, so it's a fun project to do with the kids. See these here? The pumpkins look just like a pumpkin. And you can carve faces into here. Okay. And... Uh, See, these are not my own, but these are something else. These are the Ahi Guyana. Look at that. That's that's just so cool. Uh, I think he's, uh, Jay sent me a few of these. Wow. 
I may have to do a review a review on this too. Look how cool that looks. Okay, and then let's see. Uh, these are my Stargazer. Man, I love these. They're they're really hot. The Stargazer is a cross between a white Thai pepper and a Staracha Hornet. So uh, I have a few plants growing right now. It's not producing yet. I think there's a, there are a few pods, but they're, they're really cool, unique looking, uh, very spicy. And then let's see what else here. This is the chocolate bootla. Oh, these are not mine. The chocolate bootla. This is the S S M variety. Before I showed uh, the D M. I think that is Dave Miner, and then S M Steve uh, Steve something. But uh, they're, they're both chocolate budla and they are crazy, crazy hot, guys. Uh, some of the hottest peppers I've ever tried. I mean, I have never eaten a whole pod before because I'll probably die. And here is the Scarlet Rose, the Peach Cousin. So uh, I did a review on this already. I'll link you to, to those videos and I, I love the way this tastes. Um, the shape is a little bit inconsistent right now. Uh, I did I get a few that look like a, a bonnet shape, like a flying saucer that look like this here, like its cousin, the lemon starburst. And those are usually the one that I save seeds from, but here it is, the, the, the peach version of it. And this is something else. This is not my own, but this is the Brazilian uh, cross with a Ahi Fantasy. Look at that. <laughs> Very cool looking. Looks look like a habanero or spot, a scotch bonnet. It look even like a bell pepper, like a mini bell pepper. See that? I think this might be the same. And these here, my these are my Texas Crimson Bonnet. Look at that. It look it looks like it has a face in here. And here, here's a few more of those. The Texas Crimson Bonnet. It sometimes it'll, it'll have it'll have like a, a a bonnet shape, and sometimes it has some other crazy shape. See that? So these are the kind of shapes that I really like right here. But that one's kind of crazy, man. I, I, it looks like a face. And this here is a peppadu. I'm not sure what, what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Look like a mini bell also. These are the Linzo peppers. The Linzo pepper is probably one of the most productive plants I've ever created. I mean, it is full of pods. Uh, the, the plant grows huge. Uh, last year I grew one and it, it, it grew up to like five feet tall and it, it it's like probably five feet across, <laughs> but there's just a ton of pods. I mean, and even Jay can confirm this. He said that there's just so many pods that he got sick of, of harvesting them. So they're very spicy. Um, the Linzo uh, is also a cross of my own that I did a while back. Uh, I call it Linzo after my baby girl. So uh, it, it, this is a very special pod for me. I, I just love the way it tastes. When you bite into it, you get like a burst of uh, of of a uh, scotch bonnet flavor and then after that you almost get like an annual heat that kicks you in a, like it hurts and then um it's not crazy hot but it is very very spicy so um i will probably do another review for the linzo that way i can show you the plant and here is my stiracha hornet you see the, the reason i call it that is because of that crazy tail there they they most of them will usually come like this and sometimes they get very, very big too. Uh, this is one of the, uh, the, the average size here. Uh, the one that Peter grew are like super huge. But they're very cool. They, 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 um, they have scotch bonnet flavor, but crazy, crazy hot. And this is the Crimson Star. This is also a cross of my own. It's, it's also cousin to the, um, the Hornet. Uh, it's shaped a little bit different but very, very hot also. It, it looks, sometimes it looks like a ghost pepper. And these here, I think they're some kind of bubble gum. Very cool, I, I love the way the bubble gum looks because it has that bleeding calyx here. And it's sometimes uh, they, 
They come in all different shapes and sizes and color. I really like the the red one. The red looked like a lipstick. It it's really really cool looking. Uh, this one is also very nice. The yellow one's also cool too. And I mean they they all have K looks that look like this, and I just love the way they look. They they're pretty spicy, but good flavor. I think these are yeah these are Scotch brains. Um, man, those are those are really awesome looking. I mean everything that Jay sent to me always looks so nice. See here. And then I think these are Yellow Reaper. Look at this. I've seen a lot of Yellow Reapers, and I've had I had them before. They're, they're they're not as hot as the regular Reaper. But I just love the way they look. I mean, in general, Reaper uh, shapes and the way they look and the plan and everything, they're, they're actually one of my favorite to grow because they're so pretty to me. And not because they're super hot, and of course they are because they're the hottest pepper in the world, but it, it's just, it looks beautiful. I mean, look at this. See, nice stinger, um, very cool shape. They're, not, they're, they're usually not very big. But I mean, for a pot that size, I can't believe how hot it is. Okay, and these here are the Super Pekin. <laughs> so Pekins are these little tiny peppers. Let me, let me show you what they look like. I have a few. All right, these here are Pekins, just regular Pekin. And then I, I, use, I crossed them with a Super Hot, and then they came out like this. Look at that. It, they, they look almost like a, a mini uh, scotch bonnet, <laughs> like a bite size. These things are super small. They're like, look, look they're so small, like, like a, a little jelly bean, like a, even smaller than a jelly bean. And then uh, I, I didn't like, I, I do like the taste of this when they're dried or put into um, like a hot sauce, but eating them straight up is not very nice because they have a lot of seeds. Uh, they don't taste that good with all that seed. But uh, I, I just love uh, growing them because they're just like the hardiest pepper to grow. They just grow under any condition. They're really one of those plants that you can't even kill. And the birds love them. So then I wanted to cross them and look at this. This is how it came out. Tiny little uh, look like a scotch bonnet. <laughs> so there it is. So we're going to try that today. And here, I think this is a ricotta. Ricottos are some of the coolest pepper. They're, for me, they're really, they're really difficult to grow. Um, they take a long time to, to mature and fruit. So usually I, I don't grow them, but I, I do like to, to eat them. <laughs> all right, guys, so I think that's pretty much all. Oh, actually, here's the last one. This is the Brazilian starfish. Man, I love these things. They're like no heat at all or very little heat. And the, they have amazing flavor. It's just, it's really, really juicy, thick skin. Uh, I mean, the wall is really thick, so um, they're excellent as snack peppers. Uh, I recommend throwing these with, in with your salad. Man, it's gonna, it's gonna change your salad. You're gonna like this. So, uh, Brazilian starfish. Beautiful, I, just, I love these things. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for the, the pepper show. So uh, let's have a, a look again. So oh, look at all those peppers. All of those yellows are um, lemon starburst. And the orange are the, uh, the pumpkins. And those uh, long Thai looking ones, those, those are the Linza. So uh, there it is guys. So let's go ahead and uh, cut into one of the uh, Super Pekin and give it a try. All right, guys, here it is, the Super Pekin. Let's cut one of these open and let's see what it looks like inside. They're very unique looking pepper, like a tiny scotch bonnet bite size. So there it is. Uh, it actually has a pretty nice, decent size wall. Well, it smells pretty hot. <laughs> I'm gonna try a small piece here and then give you a good description of flavor and heat. 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at all those beautiful peppers sent from Jay. And uh, we're going to try the Super Pekin. This is the first time I tried it this season. My plant is not doing too well right now. So thankfully Jay sent me these. Has a very hot smell. Yeah, it smells really hot. Like a, that has like a seven pot smell to it. Yep, smells extremely hot. So, uh, let's give this a try. Man, I, I, I ran out of gloves, so I'm going to rub this all over myself. Mmm, very sweet. Wow. It smells hot, but it's not hot. <laughs> I mean, it has, a, it has a little kick. So let me... <laughs> That's really strange. It smells very hot. So um, the first piece has very little heat, but excellent flavor. I mean, I just bit into it and I was like, wow, this is sweet. It's very surprising. It's like a very toned down scotch bonnet. The sweet scotch bonnet. Uh, the pepper is a little soft. So as, as soon as you get to the uh, placenta area, there's, there, there is some really good heat there. So now it's starting to build. The build was pretty slow. Yeah, now it's coming on. Wow, it's hot. So I bit the bigger piece on the second try with the seeds and placenta in it. So that, that really has some kick right there. Get, get a little warm here as you swallow it. Heat is attacking my throat. <clears throat> yeah, on the, uh, on the outside of the flesh, where there's no placenta tissue or any of the oil, it's completely sweet. I think this, uh, you, we shouldn't wait too long. This is a little more ripe than it should be. Um, I think this would be good here, like white, when it's like an orange color, reddish orange, like a flame, <clears throat> and still firm, that's probably the best time to eat it. Oh, the heat is stuck right here. <clears throat> so it has really good heat. Excellent flavor. I, can't, I, I was really shocked at how, how good that was and how sweet it was. <clears throat> so um, Jay sent me a whole bunch of them. Uh, Jay is the only one that has these seeds. So uh, you should check him out and ask him uh, about the seeds. And uh, he has so many other pepper varieties besides uh, the, the one that I sent him to grow. Um... <clears throat> I told Jay that uh, he can give some of the lemon starbursts as freebies. So when people buy stuff from him, you can actually get some seeds from the lemon starbursts. Uh, there, there's just so many other varieties that he's growing. So you'd be amazed at all the stuff that he has. I mean, he takes beautiful pictures too. So uh, check out his G Plus and see all the pictures that he posted. They're just absolutely gorgeous peppers. And some of the varieties that I've never even heard of. <clears throat> anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you Jay for sending me this awesome box of goodness man I'm gonna have peppers for a long time I might have to freeze some of this make some hot sauce and share them with some friends anyway thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe